Well, this is rant number five or six, I don't know. And we go back to believability. And believability really comes from, there's two paths of it. Do you believe it's possible or do you believe it's impossible? And you'll find that many people actually don't think for themselves, meaning it's, it's really that. It's like a programming set that, that doesn't allow new thought to come in. And I think that's probably related to the well, education and what is actually not in the schools anymore. Because, see, when I went to school, when I was in fourth, fifth, sixth grade, seventh, eighth, ninth grade, I think it was sixth, sixth seventh, eighth, ninth, when you're in the middle schools, they had arts programs, they had jewelry programs, they had painting programs, they had ways of teaching art. And that went away. I, I don't see a lot of art anymore. Is it being taught in schools? I don't know. And I believe why people do not support the arts is, is that people have a mindset of wanting to teach how they think. And in order to create, in order to have real art, I mean, I wanted to be a portraiture painter for a while. I, I wanted to be a jeweler when I was a kid. Because I was always looking at vocations and crafts to take care of myself. Um, so it teaches you to think differently. And an example is... is especially in painting and portraiture paintings or any kind of painting of they call realism which is your painting trying to paint what you see is that there's a principle in art where you can look at something and something's wrong something's not right the, the, the structure is not right it's like you know you know it's just like it's like a, a wreck right and you're trying to fix that wreck. And the part that you're focused on will look wrong, but it isn't. Because the part next to it that you think is okay is actually wrong. Making the part that you're paying attention to look bad. But it's not. It appears bad. And that's how art and painting teaches how to think differently. Because if you've never painted or attempted at painting at portraitures or realism paints, paintings, you will never walk into that barrier of mistakes where the, the, the thing that you think is wrong is actually right and the thing that's next to it that you think is right is wrong and and it, you're in a conundrum you, you can't figure it out and this goes back to belief systems uh, people that don't believe generally the first thing they reject everything that is approached to them the new a new things automatically rejected and they will justify their rejection as logic dictates that so it's it's a catch-22. Uh, I don't believe in you, therefore I'll find a reason not to believe in you. And you can't break that loop. It doesn't matter what you say. Which is why after a while I learned not to give a damn what people think of you. You think of me? I don't care. I really don't. Um, and that's just one of the things about inventing. And the arts is the process of thinking, because when you invent, you actually don't think. It comes to you. Intuition is a language not used by the brain. It comes through the heart. You perceive it. It goes through the brain. It 
your beliefs translate it into what you think it is. So this one of the secrets of inventing is understand that you don't know what you don't know and accept that because you don't know it. And it opens up an ability for you to actually know something new. People that are closed-minded, uh, they call themselves now conservatives. They're, these people, they don't want to know new things. They just want to work with what they have. And rejections is one of the ways of doing it. Reject everything new, only work with what you know. That's, that's, and you'll find that every major invention was invented by someone that was new. They, they didn't, uh, they understood the concept if you don't know what you don't know. 